Welcome to part two of this two-part series on writing academic research papers. In part one, we described the process of researching and writing these kinds of papers. Now, in this video, we'll dig a little deeper and compare and contrast two different kinds of research papers you might be asked to write. The first kind of research paper we'll discuss is the argumentative research paper. As you might guess from the name, an argumentative research paper is a paper that is structured around an argument. The goal of this kind of paper is to establish the truth of a claim or position by citing evidence that you have uncovered in your research. The claim you want to establish is called the thesis statement. The thesis statement usually appears very early in the paper, most often in the first paragraph and provides the context for the evidence and argument you will provide in the rest of the paper. In other words, the thesis tells your reader the specific goal for the paper and why it matters. Thesis statements can be difficult to write. A thesis statement is not a statement of fact. It is not a question, nor is it a simple statement of your topic. Instead, your thesis statement says something non-obvious about your topic, which you will try to completely establish in the rest of your paper. To come up with a suitable thesis statement, it can help to think of one specific claim you would like your reader to remember from your paper, even if they forgot everything else about it. As you write and conduct further research, you might find that you need to add to or edit this claim somewhat. This is a normal part of the research process. The most important thing is that, in the final draft, your thesis matches the argument you actually make in your paper. The body of an argumentative research paper is where you actually make your argument. Here, the goal is to use information gained from your research to show why your thesis statement is true. Each body paragraph should be dedicated to establishing a single aspect of the thesis by, for example, defining terms, presenting evidence, putting that evidence into context, discussing and answering possible alternative explanations, and considering possible implications for your research. Finally, the conclusion of an argumentative research paper restates your thesis statement, summarizes the main reasons you believe it to be true, and reminds your reader why it is important. The second kind of research paper is the review paper. A review paper aims to summarize and digest academic literature written on a topic and present conclusions to the reader. A review paper will often not include an explicit thesis statement. Instead, the introduction of a review paper sets the research question and gives a scope for the inquiry. It tells your reader what you are trying to find out about the topic and the limits of your search. The body of the review paper consists of a systematic presentation and analysis of material written on the chosen topic. It does not merely summarize the contents of individual papers, but attempts to put sources in conversation with each other. It explains approaches to the topic, describes trends in the literature, highlights important debates and disagreements, and identifies questions that have yet to be answered. In other words, a review paper tells your reader precisely what we know and what we don't yet know about a topic. Once you finish your analysis, you can draw out some judgments which approaches seem most promising, which elements of the topic are best suited for future research, and so on. The main difference between an argumentative and a review paper is in the way they relate to the literature. In an argumentative research paper, the argument is primary. Everything in the paper is arranged to show the thesis statement is true. In a review paper, on the other hand, the literature is primary. The writer's judgments emerge only after a careful description and analysis of the contents of the sources they have consulted. Here's an analogy. In a review paper, a writer creates a map of the literature, showing the connections between the various aspects of the topic and different approaches to studying it. The reader is then free to use this map to identify aspects of the topic they want to study. In an argumentative paper, on the other hand, a writer provides a route to a specific destination. If they accept the argument, the reader now has a direct way to justify the position taken in the paper. Sometimes writers combine aspects of both kinds of papers, providing a literature review to give their readers some background on the topic before moving on to arguing for the truth of a specific thesis. Whatever type of paper you write, the research phase of the process will be fairly similar. You will still have to seek out reputable sources, analyze and digest those sources for your reader, and properly cite these sources in your essay. 
Visit the Dalhousie Libraries for assistance in finding these resources and the Writing Center for help in organizing, structuring, and citing your paper. Book an appointment using the links found in the description below. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie Libraries, check out the links in the description below.